One of the things that caught Max and I most by surprise was the street dogs. All the Lucky 7 volunteers told us about them, but we had no idea what to expect. Sam, our tour guide, took us around Houston just to show us the real problem at hand. There are literally thousands of homeless dogs on the streets of Houston. Okay, so hi, my name's Sam. I have been rescuing dogs in Houston since 2012. Um, I got on with Lola's because I really enjoyed um, the process of fostering a dog for a short amount of time and moving it to Wisconsin to get a home up there. Um, down in Houston, we have we have our shelters that are taking in 80 dogs a day, and that's just one county shelter in our city. And we just can't keep up with the amount of animals that people are giving up and picking up on the street as strays. And so people always ask us, why do we send our dogs to Wisconsin? And it's because a dog that's just a black pit bull down here will sit in a foster home for six months and never get adopted. And we've been able to send these up to Wisconsin, and there's just not a uh, an overpopulation problem for animals up there so those dogs get adopted within two weeks of being in Wisconsin so it's it's really helped our group be able to save a lot of animals <laughs> a lot of animals in a short amount of time compared to trying to find them homes down in Houston where there's just not enough adopters so our group typically transports about 1300 dogs a year we send them to a, I think five different rescue partners and um, one humane society. So our partners are constantly doing home checks and vet visits for adopters up there. And when our dogs get up there, a lot of times they're already adopted. And um, the updates that people send us from uh, Wisconsin are just, it, they're amazing. These people are turning their animals into therapy animals. They're putting them in daycare. They're um, taking them to work with them. They just, you know, we, we love our adopters in Wisconsin. They, they love every kind of dog, as opposed to in Houston where people are, you know, breeding every kind of breed in, in their backyard with no genetic testing and, and, you know, selling them at flea markets down here. So we, um, we transport dogs. Uh, we also have an um, outreach program where we try to help people in lower income part of town try to get their animals fixed because we can't adopt our way out of this problem. We have to fix animals for people that can't afford it but want to fix their animals. So that's another um, part of our program that we you know, continue to try to get funding for to um, help stop the cycle. So.